Good morning, everybody. It's a 52 degree morning here in Louisiana, going up to 84. And today I'd like to put some catfish lines out, see if we catch anything. I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. I've got three of these noodles here. Um, there's been so many people fishing off that bridge that anything that I do there will just get cut. So I'm gonna to try to go down the river or the bayou a little bit and throw these out. And I'm just gonna set this up. I need to have a weight so I can throw it out from shore. I want a string so I can attach it to shore. And then I have this 45 pound leader that I wanna put on here. And with my hooks, I can get some bait on there. I know I would have better luck if I put like a monofilament down to the hook, but as many times as I've done this, I get more things that are broken off and bent and I'm just going to try it this way because I've done it like this before and just wait to catch the dumb ones. Now these won't be right on the bottom. I don't, you know, I threw them on the bottom. I just have better luck when they're off the bottom. I'm going to put a second leader on this one so this one will go a little bit deeper. And we'll just see what happens. catfish setups. Well, there's quite a few people up there by the bridge. They're not fishing on the bridge, but there's people that are doing work way back there on a pipeline project and somebody was signing in and there's two trucks there that had uh, put boats in because there's boat trailers so I'm gonna walk down here to get away from the people so hopefully nobody will tamper with us. It's my first alligator I've seen down here this year. Well, there's my setup right there. Walking through all that tall grass this morning probably wasn't a good idea. My pants are soaked, but I got through that little grassy part, and this doesn't look too bad. Sounds like there's a boat coming right now. That's why I'm keeping these things closer to shore, because there is a tiny little boat launch up. All right, it's up there. Well, look at that on the other side of the river or the bayou here. Somebody else has a floater right there. I don't know if they're checking it over there, if it's just floated down, but somebody has one. All right, well, there's the third one. We'll just let these sit, come back later, see if anything happens. We'll be back later and check them. Heading out now to check those catfish lines. Well, I don't see this one moving at all. Oh, this one here, the bait's gone. I'll rebait it and throw it back out.
check this out. This one was caught underneath this tree and I had to get it out. I don't have any idea what kind of a snake that is. Ugly thing, whatever it is. Scared the crap out of me when I pulled out my line. It killed it though. It's got it inside of it. I don't know how I'm going to get that out. Probably just pull on it. I've caught some weird things in my traps, different kind of fish, but I've never caught a snake on a catfish line. Okay, let's go check that third one. This one is quite a walk up to it. Ooh, I got one on there or something. There we go. <laughs> he isn't very big. I suppose most people would call that a bullhead, but they're tasty. Now I'll get some new bait on this one. You can see there's guys fishing on the bridge there. That's why I haven't run any lines off the bridge this year because so many people use it now. I'll come out later and we'll check them again. one segment right here I'm switching over and using my cell phone I just want to see what the video quality is like with the cell phone versus my Sony Handycam there must have been some pretty big boats that came through here because this one here is washed up on shore the bait was gone so I put a new one on and now I'm just gonna throw it back out there Well, oh, that one still has the bait on it. That one's got something on it. It's moving around. I have no idea what kind of fish that is, but that's a pretty good sized fish. It's got to go five pounds. Okay, I have a new crayfish on there. It's back out in the water see if we catch anything next time. That's I got really big crayfish on this time. Well, I'm going to go back and figure out what kind of fish that is and if it's not something that people eat I know it'll go great in my mud bugging traps when I reset those out next week. I'll see you guys back out here again tomorrow. All right now I'm back to my regular camera. Anyway, this is a Gasper Goo, they call them down here. Uh, the real name would be a freshwater drum. It's supposed to be really good to eat. This one here is about 18 and 3 quarters of an inch long. And I don't have my, uh, oh, my scale for weighing the fish. That was lost in the flood, so I'm guessing it's 5 or 6 pounds. That's what it felt like. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get this filleted up so eventually we can eat it. actually kind of remind me of filleting a bass. You get a lot of good meat up here, but it has a big rib cage, so you get nothing once you get up there. Real nice piece of meat there. here I'm going to cut in half and use this for crayfish bait. Okay, 
Now for this little guy, I just when I got home, I just threw him in the fridge. Wait till I could do more than one at a time. There's so many different ways that they do these catfish by putting a players on, nailing them to a tree, I just fillet them like any old fish. You just got to get up and around this bone that they've got right here. There we go, one little catfish fillet. go get these washed up real good and put them in the freezer and uh, like I said tomorrow morning we'll go back out there and check those uh, little catfish setups again see if we caught anything well it's the next morning I'm just about to go out and set the traps I did go up and get some beef melt yesterday and I've used this for catfish bait before and what I like about it is it's bloody uh, and it sticks to the hook really good so cut a few pieces of this because the crayfish or the crawfish that I have I have a few left but they're so huge that I want to kind of switch something out and see what happens you see we already have a bunch of people up there fishing on the bridge Well, no matter what I try, I cannot get that thing out. It's The string itself is underneath the log or something, and I put a big stick out there to try to get it loose, but it just, whatever it is, it's tight. I can see that there's nothing on it for fish. So, anyway, I'll probably have to bring a boat out here to get that one loose later. Well, nothing on that one, but the bait is gone, so I'll get some beef melt put on there and get it tossed back out. Later on this afternoon, or this evening, there's a wind advisory that starts. It's supposed to be 25 to 30 mile per hour winds. And then there's a front coming through, and uh, Tomorrow, I don't know, they were talking three to six inches of rain. I haven't seen what they're thinking for the amount, but they say fish the front. We are fishing the front. Well, that one didn't have anything on it and uh, the bait was gone. I'm just walking down here another hundred yards. I could easily set some more of those up and, you know, run six of them or something like that. We'll come back later and check those lines. Back out to check the lines this afternoon. I really didn't think I was going to get a chance to. We're under tornado warnings and all this risk for severe weather. We're supposed to get so much rain, but most of it has just been staying north. Uh, my truck, I took Melissa's truck this time. My truck has some little leak with the uh, one of the brake lines or something. I don't know. So I just grabbed her truck. keep moving it's real humid out and the mosquitoes are horrible well, I don't see any movement on it but we'll check it out anyway well we got something on there oh 
Oh, another one of those little cats. Little bullhead, whatever it is. Nice. So this is the one that we caught the freshwater drum on yesterday and now the little cat today and this is the one that has that second leader so this one goes deeper. I should do that on the other ones too because then you see as it coming into shore it stops on the bottom right there it doesn't get as close to shore. I did buy three more of those noodle things. Uh, I haven't set them up yet to see how the weather is. I had to get a bunch of material and stuff. For the house today and uh, I just haven't had any time to set those up but maybe tomorrow. Starting to get a few raindrops now. Well we'll come back out tomorrow. See you guys there. Bait for mud bugging. I know these fillets, they look a little small, but when you run up just up the road here, there's a place where you can buy seafood and fish fillets, and you go in there and buy them for cooking, and that's about the size they are. So I've caught a lot bigger catfish, but these taste just as good as the big ones. All right, well, I'm going to go get them washed up, throw them into that bag with the other ones, and uh, we'll be back out there tomorrow morning to check those lines. In fact, I think I'm even going to set these up, so I don't know what the weather's going to be like in the morning, but then at least I could throw these out. Well, I'm heading back out to check those lines and throw the new ones out. It's a little bit later in the day. It's not, oh, it's about 11 o'clock right now. I had rained and rained and rained last night, so I just wanted everything to kind of drain down a little bit before I start walking out there. It was just an alligator sitting right in the road, sunning itself. Went into this green stuff. There's his head right there. Wow, look how high that water has come up. All this was dry in here. All this was dry yesterday. Seems to be stuck. Well, I couldn't save that one. It broke off, so I had to put a new leader and a hook on there. And now I'm putting on some bait. Oh, this looks a little better here, a little higher ground. The bait's gone. Let's go see if we can find some more spots and set some of these new ones up. One more to set up here. All right, well now we've got five of them that are all freshly baited and we'll come back later and see if we have any luck. That's getting to be a long walk now. It's mid morning the following day and uh, I'm running out now to check those lines. Oh, this one still has a bait on it. Uh, 
Well, this one still has a bait on it also. That one had the bait on it also. I just uh, checked it and threw it back out. Definitely having no luck with the beef melt at all, except for, well, we caught that one fish on it earlier, but I need to switch back to crayfish. Well, no luck again today, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and end this video right now, start up another one tomorrow, and if I have time here, I'm going to run out and get some crayfish or crawfish and use that for bait, because we were having much better luck with that. I only need one or two more fish, depending on the size, and I have enough for a fish fry, and I'm trying to get there before I head back to Minnesota. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video.